So what is going on everyone, Fernando Silva here with another video and today I'm going to answer the question that so many people had to both my 14.5 beta 1 video and then my follow up video for that software and that's the question of can you actually change the default music player on iPadOS and not just iOS. So I had to test it out, figure out if it could be done and whether or not it's a, a good option or a good feature to have and lo and behold it's something amazing. So Apple seems to finally be loosening up the reins and letting us, you know, that first it started with the default browser change, so you can change from Safari to Chrome or Ecosia or any of those other ones, and now you're able to now switch your default music player, but there's a catch because it's not as easy as you think it is. So without further ado, I'll show you exactly how to do it. So what I'm gonna do is actually show you how to actually set your new default music player because it's a little bit different. It's not as easy as you think it would be, right? So I'm gonna share the screen right here. I have the 12.9 inch 2018 iPad Pro running 14.5 beta one version two, right? So this is supposed to happen with 14.5 update throughout iOS and iPadOS, but just to show you how it's a little bit different. Like for instance, if you wanna change the actual default browser because now Apple is allowing third party applications to be your default app of choice, whether it is for a browser or email or whatever the case may be. But if you wanna change your browser, all you have to do is go to the browser that you wanna to change to in your settings. So for instance, if I wanna to switch to Chrome, I go to the Chrome and then change my default browser from Safari to Chrome or to even Edge, right? And this depends on which browsers you have. I think you can even use things like Brave or Firefox or whatever else there is. You can change it to whatever default browser you want. But if, if I wanna change, let's say my default music player, if I go all the way down to Spotify, because everybody knows I'm a Spotify user, lo and behold, there's no option to change it as my default music player, which is the main music player that I use. I'm not subscribed to Apple Music. It's because I've been with Spotify for so long. So now, in order to actually make it your default browser, you have to summon Siri, right? And for me, I'm not gonna actually say it, I'm just gonna show you. So I'll hold down the power button, she pops up, and I'll say, hey, play Justin Bieber. And then boom, this is how you get the option to now make Spotify your default browser. So all I have to do is click on Spotify. You press yes, because it needs to access the data. And all of a sudden, boom, I have it going right there. And now the awesome thing is that I can also now change the tracks, change the volume, change everything with just my voice, even though it's just on Spotify. Before we could change the volume with our voice, but we could not change tracks because every time you would want to change a track, it would just default you back to Apple Music. And I'm hoping this is the case because our handoff is starting to work with Spotify on the iPhone and I'm hoping that they continue to bring that stuff in and let us get more customization, more default, you know, more customization and just more control left as to what applications we use. Yes, I get it that Apple's trying to keep it very confined and let us be as safe as possible from a privacy standpoint. But after, you know, they, after all these third party applications finally meet the rules that Apple has set forward in their app store, why not let us use those third party applications as our default applications of choice? for browsing, for music playing, for video playing, you know, whatever the case may be, I just want that customization and it seems like we're getting closer and closer to that. So that's pretty much it. Like I showed you, that's the only way right now that you can change the default music player and then as you do that, it won't come up again. So that's your default music player unless you tell, you know, unless you ask Siri to change your default music player. And other than that, that's the way you change it from Apple Music to Spotify. But that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully everybody enjoyed. Hopefully I was able to answer some questions for you when it came to this. Because a lot of people saw that it went to iOS, but we wanted to know if it came for iPadOS because sadly, iPadOS usually gets a short end of the stick when it comes to these smaller updates. But that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to check out channel sponsor Paperlike. Always got one on the, on the iPad screen. Like I always say, make sure you protect your iPad screen because that's the biggest asset on your iPad. And if you wanna resell it, that's the best way to make sure you get the most out of your iPad. But that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Smash that like button for me because it really helps get this in front of more people. And until next time.